Okay, so I just want to do a, like a quick run through just on area. Now, uh, the shapes that we have looked at. Okay, so I just want to look at finding the area of these different shapes. Um, so the first one's a square. So the area of the square um, is like you do base times height or side times side or side squared. So one side's five. That means this one here will also be five because they're equal. So it ends up being five times five, which is 25 meters squared. Okay, if we look at this one, we've got base and height. So the area of a rectangle is base times height. So it goes six times three, which is 18 meters squared. Parallelogram, base times height. So the area is base times height. So it'll be 10 times eight, which is 80 meters squared. Okay, this one here, we have the base is 20, the height is six, and we have the other side is 10. Now this is a trapezium, so it's height on two, or half the height times A plus B. So it's going to be a half times six times 10 plus 20, a half of six is three times 30, which is 90. So it'd be 90 meters squared. Okay. Then we've got the trape the kite and the rhombus. So that's going to be a half X, Y. And the X and the Y are these diagonals. So that's the X, that's the Y. So it's going to be a half times four times eight. So a half uh, you can put that straight into your calculator, but it's a half times 32, which is 16 metres square. Okay, so let's have a look at the other shapes. All right, so first one we have there is the triangle. So the triangle, the area is a half base times height. So it's a half times four times three, which is a half of 12, six metres square. Okay, the other triangle, a half times six times eight. Six eighths are 48. Half of 48 is 24 meters squared. Then we have the circles. So the circles, you need the radius for the area. The radius of this one, 10 divided by two, which is five. The formula is um, area is pi times radius squared. So it's pi times three squared. Okay, that equals 28.3 if you did it to, two, to one decimal place. Okay, so this one here, pi times the radius squared, and the radius is 5, so it's pi times 5 squared, which equals 78.3. Meters squared. Okay, and the next one, so we put whatever the angle is over 360 times pi times 4 squared. So the angle is 60 over 360 times pi times 4 squared. And you end up with 8.4 meters squared to one decimal. Okay, so looking at this next one here, we have two areas here. So area one, which is just the semi semicircle or half a circle, you need to get the radius. Now four is all the way across, so the radius would equal four divided by two, which will equal two. So that's gonna be pi times radius squared, but it is half a circle, so you divide by two. So it's pi times two squared, divided by two, which equals which equals 6.3 meters squared to one decimal place. And then if you get area two, area two is just a rectangle, so it's just base times the height. So that's going to be four times three, and four times three is 12 meters squared. So the total area, you just gotta take each of these areas so area one and area two. And if you add them together, you'll get the total 
area. So the total area would be area 1 plus area 2. So it's going to be 6.3 plus 12, which is 18.3 metres square. Okay, so just looking at uh, the next one, this one here, we have area 1 and area 2. So area 1, okay, that's a triangle. So it's a half base times the height. So the base is 10, because that's 10 there, if you bring the 10 up, so it'll be a half times 10 times the height, which is 5. So a half of 50 is 25 metres squared. Area 2, area 2 is 10 times 6, which is 60 metres squared. And um, then the total area would be area 1 plus area 2 which is equal to 25 plus 60, which ends up being 80 metres squared. Okay, and finally, this last one here, um, the donut -y shape. So we need to get the area of like the whole big circle, and then we need to take away the area of the circle that's inside. So area 1 will make that area of the big circle. So it's pi times radius squared. So it's pi times 6 squared. And area 2 is a small circle. So it's pi times the last squared. So it's pi times 4 squared. Now, instead of subtracting two uh, rounded off answers, if we just put in our calculator like that, it'll be area 1 minus area 2. So it'll be pi times 6 squared minus pi times 4 squared. And you end up with 62.8 metres squared.